Welcome to Doba Tutorial. Today we will tell you how to set up your stores after you connect them to Doba in two videos. And this is part one. In this video, we'll talk about store settings for Amazon, Newegg, Walmart, WooCommerce, Shift4 Shop, Square and others. Now, let's begin. Please log into your account first. Then click Stores. Let's take the Amazon store as an example. Please click here to enter the store settings page. For Amazon, as well as all the other stores we'll cover in this video, you may set up two sets of rules, inventory rules and order rules. Let's see the inventory rules first. Here you may set the inventory syncing rule by turning on or off the syncing option. If you turn it on, your store SKU inventory will be automatically updated when the inventory of your connected products on Doba changes. Or vice versa. And for the second setting, you may turn this on to take the product off the shelf if it becomes unavailable on Doba. We recommend you turn on both of the options. And, please note, fulfillment latency setting is only for Amazon stores. The default fulfillment latency for an Amazon store is 1 to 2 business days. Here you may set your own latency number to override the default value. You may also set up the latency in the product's connection. And, if you set up the latency both in the store settings page and in the product's connection settings, the latter will prevail if the two values are inconsistent. Next, let's see the order rules. We recommend you turn off the first option if you don't want to sync the orders which don't contain the products from Doba. If you do want to sync all the orders, you may turn it on. We recommend you turn on the second option to sync the tracking numbers to your store, so that your buyers could see them. If you turn it off, you have to check the tracking numbers on the tracking number record page, and copy and paste them manually to your store. You may turn on the third option to place a purchase order automatically on Doba, after you buyers place the order in your store. But the automatic purchase order placing will only happen if you already made the connections for all the products in your buyer's order. Set up the minimum expected profit margin. And added a billing address. We've talked about product connections in a previous video, please check it out. You may hover your mouse cursor here to view the details of the minimum expected profit margin. And enter an integer. And please click here to add a billing address. For the WooCommerce store, you may see an extra setting, the pricing rules, through which you may set the store currency, according to the platform's location. And, finally, please don't forget to click Save Settings to finish. This is the end of Part 1. Please continue to view Part 2. Thank you.